Right, so we're gonna start with 12 of these really cute little crates from Dollar Tree. And we are going to first going to glue them together. So we're gonna start with a hot glue gun, one of my favorite tools in my DIY arsenal. And I'm gonna do a significant amount, but make sure you're not doing too much to the point where it's gonna like spill over. All right, so we're gonna do this again three more times, um, and then we'll be back for the next step. All right, so now that I have four of these stacks, what we're gonna do is we are going to be using some wood stain, and I'm gonna be applying this with a paintbrush. You can also use a sponge if that's something you feel um, better about, which you know, I might switch to a sponge. We'll see how it applies. So I'm gonna start at the top. I always say less is more um, because you can always go back and add more if you want to darken it up a little bit. And one of the things I like about using water-based stain is you don't necessarily have to wear gloves for it and you also don't have to worry about a chemical smell doing it outside. Um, you also don't have to worry about a significant amount of dry time. So and you'll want to make sure you're applying this with the wood grain. All right, so we're just gonna continue moving around and covering uh, every inch of these crates that are assembled together. And we're gonna do the same thing on the others. Now I wanna say too that like, if you decide like you wanna try this project, but you wanna go like with a different color, maybe you wanna paint it instead of stain it, that is obviously something you can do. Um, but uh, you know, I'm a big fan of kind of having like a rustic look. And um, I, think, I think you'll like how this turns out, so. We're gonna work on this Bamboo Lazy Susan. It's 14 inches in diameter. I got it on Amazon. It was relatively inexpensive. Um, and we are going to stain this as well. So I'm gonna be using my sponge for this. I'm gonna use the same stain. I'm just going with the grain. And I'm gonna give it a chance to sink in. I may do a couple coats on this, we'll see. I, I do want it to be a little darker than it started. All right, so here is my Lazy Susan now after, I wanna say like four or five coats of that rustic wood brown stain. But I'm actually really happy with how it turned out. It actually got a lot darker than I envisioned it being. So um, I'm gonna set this aside for now. We're gonna go ahead and move on to our next step. All right, so what we're gonna do now, <clears throat> we're gonna put this into a formation uh, where we are going to be lining them up next to one another. So first I just kinda wanna illustrate what it's gonna look like. So if you can see where I'm going with this, essentially we're gonna be gluing these all together. And it's really important that you wait for the stain to dry before you move on to the gluing step. All right, so I'm gonna start by putting some hot glue along this side. And I'm going to line it up. So we're gonna let that hold for a second. And I'm gonna essentially do the same thing with these as these two as well. So, all right, so we have that together. Now what we're gonna do is I'm going to put glue here and here on these two sides. So I'm gonna have to work quick. So I'm gonna give it a couple minutes to just to cure essentially and dry. So for this final step, you're gonna wanna decide which side you want facing up. So because of the quality of the Dollar Tree um, items, if there was any glue from when these were created, the stain may not show up on those parts of the little wood crates. So I've decided this is gonna be the bottom piece that you're not gonna be able to see. So we have our Lazy Susan. What I'm gonna do is I'm going to just put a ton of hot glue on the bottom here. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna flip it over and we are gonna put it on the center of our Lazy Susan. So you may have to kind of eyeball this. And then let it sit for a moment. And now what you have is a really inexpensive way to store some paint and other um, art supplies. So we're gonna go ahead and load this up with, uh, with paint and brushes and all of that so you can see essentially how it's gonna work. So we'll be back. And here's the finished product. I'm really loving this DIY Dollar Tree craft room organizer. 
it definitely will be really handy. I love the fact that it is able to spin and hold so much paint and my long artist brushes. So what do you think of this project? Have you ever wondered what to do with a clementine or a mandarin orange box? Typically, these end up in recycling bins. We're gonna start by painting this entire box with spray paint. So, depending on where you live, it is winter time where I'm at, so spray painting isn't really an option for me. However, this is an option for you if you live in a climate that has warmer weather. You also have the option of hand painting. Both of these are great options. They are both chalk paint, just one is in a spray paint form. And I'm going to start, this is probably gonna take a couple coats, and I'm going to just start by covering the whole thing. Now what's gonna help me make this dry faster? It's like my favorite tool when it comes to anything that I'm painting. It is my blow dryer. So grab your blow dryer if you wanna make this process go a little bit quicker. My tip for you is to allow each layer to dry completely before you start painting an additional layer on. So the next part of this project is acquiring some jars. So I actually got these jars from Hobby Lobby and they were 50% off, so I got a great deal on these. And I also got some chalkboard labels. So you're gonna use a either a paint marker or a chalkboard marker. And I'm gonna write on these chalkboard labels what I'm gonna be putting in each of these jars. So I do have some pencils that I'm gonna be using. So we'll just put these off to the side for a second. I like to write on a flat surface, so I highly recommend writing out your labels before you stick them on your jars. So, so we're gonna write pencils. I'm also gonna be doing uh, paper clips. We have markers. We'll let that dry for a second. And colored pencils. We're gonna use the bigger chalkboard label for the actual outside of the box. So I'm gonna write office slash art supplies. All right, so now I'm gonna start sticking my labels on my jars and then we're gonna fill them up. So we have our chalkboard label on the front, just saying what's gonna be in this organizer. And we're gonna load it up with our jars. And there we have it, here is our organizer. Now let's see what it looks like on my desk. There you have it. I have my beautiful office slash art supply organizer for my desk. Not only would this make a great organizer for your desk, you could also use it for a bookshelf. You could use it for uh, craft storage. You could use it for anything that you need it to be. And it's super inexpensive and on budget. Thank you so much for watching Home Talk and I will see you next time. Bye.